Um, Black Activist Rising Against the Cuts Barrack was set up um, in July of this year and I think that the, the interest in the work that we're doing in terms of representing black communities and black workers um, just tells you exactly how big an issue this is because lots of people have joined up to our organisation. We're a broad based coalition um, consisting of trade union groups and also community groups and service users. And the reason we were established is to respond to the impact that these cuts are going to have on black workers and black communities and they're going to have a huge disproportionate impact. I come from the civil service union, PCS, and the last round of cuts we had, they um, wiped out black workers in some areas, for example in the, the Office of National Statistics. Um, where somebody um, described that as ethnic cleansing because of the amount of black people that came out of the organisation. And um, we're really concerned because black people are in the most deprived parts of community in terms of poverty. Um, they're in the, the, you know, the, the, most, the, the poorest um, areas of the UK. Um, they're in the worst housing. They receive the lowest pay. And if you take the civil service as an example, they're in the lowest grades and therefore they're on the lowest salaries. In the civil service, we've had a pay freeze, and that will mean that the gap that's already there between black and white workers is going to widen. The government have a responsibility to respond to the inequality and to tackle the inequality and to prevent inequality and discrimination from happening in the first place. And by their own admission, um, Theresa May said, in that leaked document that this is going to impact on equality and it's going to impact on all aspects of um, uh, equality and we leave ourselves open to, to um, legal challenges because we're likely to be breaking the law and one of the things that um, Barrack is looking at is, is um, responding from the legal avenue in terms of taking judicial review action so we're going to be writing to the Chancellor and setting out our concerns and demanding to see an equality impact assessment because they have a duty to carry out an equality impact assessment on the CSR, setting out how and where it will impact on equality grounds and what they're going to do to respond to that. Um, but we're really concerned not just on workers but on communities because all of the cuts will have a knock-on effect on um, voluntary groups, community groups that rely on funding from government departments and where the funding is cut in government departments that's going to have a knock-on effect and it will mean services are not there for people that really need them because of and it will have an increase on people's stress levels on health on mental health it's going to impact on education and if you haven't got access to education then you haven't got access to the labor market you won't work you won't contribute taxes so it's a false economy in any case because it means that it will actually cost the, the, the country money not to educate people, not to invest in communities. So um, this is a, the, the, I can give this out to anybody that wants it, black activists rising against cuts. We're calling on people to work with us, to join with us and to fight these cuts to for now. When whilst we're fighting the cuts and setting out the alternative, that we also make clear the responsibility to adhere to the equality duties and to practice equality. Okay.